We're in Rodeo Drive, uh, Los Angeles, California, and in this video I wanted to talk about why your friends and family don't want you to build a business, don't want you to become an entrepreneur, don't want you to become self-employed. So if this is you, pay attention. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead-end 9-to-5 job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money and just enjoying life? No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. So here's the situation that you might encounter as well, and that is you announce to your family or your friends, or you just mentioned that you want to build your own business, that you might want to become a coach, consultant, service provider, that you want to break free from the nine to five hamster wheel, become your own boss. And what it is that we usually get from friends and family, they say, oh, not a good idea. Oh, stop doing it. Oh, but you don't even know how to do that. Oh, but you don't have a business degree. It's too risky. You're not going to make it. Why don't you do something proper? Why don't you get a job? You know, you keep going to school, get your little degree and stay with that that's usually what people try to tell us right and and it's difficult because at, at the end of the line all of us want to be liked we want to be respected it's, it's a human urge we're a social creature we want to be respected we want to be liked by as many people as possible this has you know biological socio-biological reasons like me right now I'm literally crossing the street while it's red and I I feel bad <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to be accepted and liked by everybody. So here's the first lesson. Write that down. There's always going to be haters and you will always encounter difficulties. You will always encounter resistance, especially from people that are close to you. Okay, we always think that when we're down there at this level, all we have to do is get up there and all the hate and the criticizing will stop. You know, people like pop stars and rock stars and film stars, everybody loves them. But at the end of the day, all the BS that is gonna be thrown at you is only gonna get bigger. The higher you climb up on the success, the more people are gonna be mad at you, the more people are gonna be pissed at you. I've seen a YouTube video recently by Will Smith where he talks about he's getting sued all the time. People sue him all the time. He literally has a team of lawyers just taking care of all the lawsuits that are thrown at him. It's insane. And I'm like, well, Will Smith, everybody likes Will Smith. Why does he get sued? Well, that is it. So you gotta learn how to grow a thick skin. Okay, whether you are down here starting out as an entrepreneur or you're getting up there, you gotta grow a thick skin and you gotta learn how to not care because it won't stop, it won't get less. I know that myself. Watch the YouTube comments, read them. See how much hate certain people are getting. It's insane. So this will never stop. The other thing that you gotta understand is your friends and family specifically, they criticize you because they don't know any better, number one, and number two, oh, yeah. because they love you. So let's look at number one, look. <clears throat> we have to learn, when you start becoming an entrepreneur, we have to learn to not listen to people who are not where we want to be, okay? So usually it's like this. Your friends and your family, they're not entrepreneurs. They're probably subscribed to the hamster wheel nine to five mentality, which is, you know, go to school, get a degree, get a job, work for 40 years, and then die. So they don't know any better. They don't know what it's like being an entrepreneur. They don't know what it's like being free. They're not free themselves. But because they're our friends and family and we value them and we, we, we love them, we tend to listen to their advice. But the problem is their advice will get us only where they are. And if they have a job that they're not super duper happy with, then we're gonna end up being there as well. So you have to learn to not listen to people that are not where you are. now. That does not mean, and this is the next thing I want you to write down before we get to number two, which is they're only saying this because they love you. That doesn't mean that you have to criticize them back or got beware, attack them or got beware, think or even communicate to them that you're better than them. Never ever do that. So I'm gonna give you a perfect example that probably happens to you or happens to you already. You're sitting at the dinner table with friends or family and uh, you're saying, oh, you wanna become an entrepreneur, and then they say, no, you should do that because of the risk, because of this, because of that, because you don't have any experience, because God be aware, you don't have a degree in business. Don't try to teach them. Don't try to get into an argument or any discussion because at the end of the day, you're here to, to, to have a good time with your family, to, to chill and have a nice dinner. Don't try to get into any discussion because it won't help. Simply what you do is do the following. You nod, you smile, you agree, and then you go ahead and do it anyway, okay? You're not here to teach your parents, your family. You're not here to do any of that. 
they mean well. And it will literally be a waste of your time and energy to try to convince them otherwise because it won't work, okay? If someone is not open to receive a new reality, they won't be able to accept it. Understand that, right? If they had been able to, if they had been ready to receive a new reality, they would have already done that. But they're still locked in their own paradigm and they won't change their mind as easily. So don't waste your time. Which now brings me wonderfully to point number two. They're doing it because they love you. Look, with your friends and family, there's a lot of dynamics going on when it comes to where you are, okay? You might be here on this level, which means they're also probably gonna be there. There's not gonna be this huge discrepancy between you and them. You're always gonna be at the same level. Same with your friends. Most likely, if you're not a millionaire, you're not gonna have a bunch of millionaire friends. Probably you're always around this, the roughly the same level. So what happens when you say, hey, I wanna become an entrepreneur, I wanna become my own boss, I wanna step up, literally stepping up, you know, to the next level, what are your friends and family gonna think? Are they gonna be all happy that you're stepping up, that you're gonna be on a different, higher paradigm, or will they be scared? It's number two, they will be scared. Number one, they will be scared because they'll think, well, if my friend is gonna be up on that level and I'm still gonna be there, will that person still be my friend? Will that person still want to hang out with me? Have a good time, right? If my son slash brother slash cousin is gonna step up, will they still want to hang out with me? Will they still come to the family dinners? If my son wants to step up, will he still respect me as his parent? So they're scared that they will literally lose you to that new paradigm. And what do people do when they get scared? They try to pull you back down, keep you from stepping up, and thus keeping you on their level. And the second thing is, when you step up, you literally passively shine a light on their own inability to step up themselves, right? So you're stepping up onto the next level, thinking about a new paradigm, getting into entrepreneurship. It will shine a light on their own inability to do the same. Because truth be told, our parents, our family probably had a similar thought than us. Oh, maybe I don't like my job. Maybe I should do something else. Maybe I should build my own business. But then they didn't get to do that step into the unknown. They didn't get you know, to sign up for the program or they didn't quit their job. They didn't actually take any practical steps because of the same fears. They were scared. They were doubting themselves. Probably stuff that you were feeling too. So they couldn't do it, and now you stepping up, it shines a light on their inability, right? Look at you, John, your son is stepping up, something that you could never do. Look at you, Linda, your friend Lisa, she's stepping up, something that you could never do, Linda, because of your insecurities. And, and if your friend Lisa manages to get success, oh, what about you then? It's a failure, you're gonna live with it for the rest of your life knowing that you're a failure. So what do we do? We're gonna drag Lisa back down to our levels. We cannot have that happen because we will feel very bad about that. So you kind of understand here that again, there's so many dynamics in place that are really pushing our friends and family to try to keep us down there, push us back down to that level. And last but not least, again, when I'm saying all these bad things about your friends and family, there's a lot of ego thing happening here, but you gotta understand that at the end of the day, they're doing this because they love you. They're scared that you and them will no longer be friends. They are scared that you won't feel part of their family anymore. They're scared and they love you. They don't want to lose you, which again goes back to what we said earlier. Don't try to fight them. Don't try to discuss them. Don't try to change your mind. Laugh, smile, nod, and then go ahead and do it anyway because you won't be able to change their mind. And if you want to add something, then maybe you can even tell them in a very positive, loving way, saying, hey, I might be doing this thing now and you might be doing your job or whatever it is. That will never mean that you and I won't stay friends. That will never mean that I will not respect you as a father, as a, as a brother, as a cousin. I'll always love you, I'll always be with you. I just want to do this thing. And you're probably right, but let me try it. And when you will start making your first money, when you still, you know, when you get your mentor, your mentor teaches you to make your first money, you might start making four figures a month, five figures a month. When you do do that, don't rub it in their face. Don't think that you're better, because you're not. Who, who knows? What does it even denote us as someone better or worse? It has nothing to do with that. 
Instead, show them that they'll always be part of your inner circle. Show them that you'll always be friends. Show them that you'll always be family. And they will be infinitely more grateful. And you know what the most wonderful thing is? Something that you could, you could, even, you could even interpret that as something negative, but I always think it's cute. When some people who try to drag you down, who try to keep you down, will end up saying, I always knew it. I always believed in you. Nice car coming, I don't even know where it is. Nice. You know, this guy with the Hummer probably had a bunch of people telling him, you know what, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't make money. And all of a sudden he's driving around in a, on a Hummer and they're saying, you know what, I always believed in you. I always knew that you'd make it. I always see that as some sort of like a, as like a thank you that they, in their mind, they thought they always supported you, whereas in their mind, they were always scared of losing you and thusly, they tried to drag you down. But again, remember, they're doing that because they love you. And there is no need for you to teach them otherwise, to criticize them whatsoever. Okay, so to summarize, very simple. Laugh, smile, nod, agree with them, and then go ahead and do it anyway. And when they come back to you and they say, I always knew it, I always believed in you, say thank you. Bring them on a vacation together with you. Say thank you, how good of the friends they are. When you see each other 10 years down the road and they still are stuck in their job and you're balling, you're making money, traveling the world, still tell them how good of a friend they are to you. Still tell them how much you appreciate the conversations that you're having. Because at the end of the day, it's about people that you love and it's about you doing and finding what you want to do and what you love. Right, so if you say, hey, I wanna become an entrepreneur, I don't care what people are gonna say about me. I wanna become my own boss. We can literally help you become a successful online coach, consultant, and service provider. And the way to do that is you click that link down in the description below. That link brings you to your page. And I want you to read what's on that page because what's on that page is extremely important and valuable for you to really take that first step into entrepreneurship, becoming your own boss. Read what's on that page and then you scroll down and you literally press the button where you can book a free consultation call, either with me personally or with an expert from my team. Now, those consultation calls are entirely for free, even if it's international. And what we do on that consultation call, if you already have a skill and you wanna learn how to monetize it, click that link down in the description below, we'll help you get started. And if you're not quite sure yet what kind of skill you have that you can, uh, that you can start, that you can build a coaching business upon, don't worry, you can still give us a call because we can analyze your strengths and we can literally see, okay, this is the market, this is the situation, this is where you're good at, this is the type of coaching, consulting, service providing business that you can get into. So either way, click that link down in the description below, get on a call with us. If the link still works, it means we still have spots open. I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know, what am I gonna do? Some shopping maybe? Gonna enjoy free life. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate that. Talk to you soon on the call. Signing out, GG.